What's going on everybody? Super quick tutorial on how to get a Twitch clip into a TikTok clip. This is a very easy way to get more branching out onto your Twitch brand, maybe bring more people into your channel, and it takes no longer than 10 minutes. So if you don't know already, you can go to your clips page and you can actually just download any clip that's on your channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this clip that was made from a previous stream and just open up in the folder, go back to my Vegas, and I'm going to drag it into Vegas just like this. Now, I'm going to put it into the player. And once I drag it into the player, you'll see that it's going to default to the video's native resolution, but we don't want that because phone screens are vertical. So we're going to go to the settings and then change the settings into these exact settings. Feel free to pause the video and copy everything exactly. The only thing that I really changed is the width goes to 1080 and the height goes to 1920. So it just flips to portrait mode. Then we apply it. And you'll see that now the native rev resolution just doesn't really match, but that's okay because that's kind of what we want. So first thing we're going to do is go into the video player. We're going to cut the video from the audio by pressing U. The U button is going to unlink them. And now I can copy the video and insert two more video tracks. So I'm going to put the same video into all of the three tracks. All of these are the same video. Um, this to make it easier to track. This one is going to be the face cam. This track is going to be the timer, though this can be anything that you may want to add elsewhere on the screen that's not your game feed or your face cam. But in my case, since I'm a speedrunner, I want them to know that there's a timer going. And the last one will be the game feed. So let's start with the face cam. You're going to click on this button, and this is the only setting that you need to change. Click on this. We're going to go to mask, and then just crop out the face cam. Doesn't have to be perfect, just enough to get the job done. And then you can even save the setting to face crop or something. I already have one saved, so I'm just going to go ahead and save it. Then I'm going to go to position. Make sure this setting of XY is off. That way I can change it into, you know, the portrait landscape and just kind of drag it around until you think that it's correct. Uh, you know, you got to just play with the margins a little bit. It may take a little bit of time to get it right but that's okay because you just kind of just kind of wiggle it around once you do it once you never have to do it again so just be patient and get it done so now that it's dragged where it's supposed to be i'm going to go ahead and name this face cam uh position or or something i don't know i already have one i'm already made so i'm just going to go ahead and save it and then close and now the face cam is done Next one, I'm going to crop the timer. So click the same button, mask, crop, and then be sure to save the mask because the mask and position are different saves. So timer, crop, save, and the position is going to be the same process. You just drag this around until it matches where you want the timer. Then you save that, timer, position, and we close. Last one is going to be the game. Now, the game is tricky because the game is, of course, widescreen, so I have to kind of crop out the unimportant parts. So I'm just going to get kind of in the center here and get just enough so that you can kind of see what's going on. And that should be good right there. Let's go ahead and put it right here. Game position, save, and we are done. That is it. That's all it is. And now the clip is nice and digestible in video form. And I save the settings so that it's in the exact right spot every single time. And just to prove to you guys that this is a repeatable thing, once you get all these settings right once, it will happen every single time. As we know on Twitch, our face cam is, and gameplay is probably going to be in the same position every time. So let's go ahead and make a new clip. Let's grab this one. Drag it in. And we'll clear out all the stuff here. Copy it here. Copy it here. And then... We hit mask, setting, game or uh, face crop. This is the face cam. And then we go to position, face cam position, done. Then we go to this one, mask, timer crop, position, timer position, done. And the last one is mask. For the game crop and position, game position, close it, make sure the settings go to vertical.
apply and this is a completely new clip that's all i did and it's done in that short amount of time two minutes it took to import the clip put all the settings i already had saved and now it's already back into tiktok form so the last thing you need to go over is how to render it because you don't want to render in the wrong settings so you're going to go to custom and you're going to make these custom settings so once you go to customize template you should have these settings right here make sure that your width and the height is the same portrait landscape if you want to pause the video here you don't have to touch audio or system or project you just have to touch video copy these settings click ok and render and then it should be a super short render and that's it you're done